Hello and welcome to Cell Biology and Drug Development. Today, we'll discuss an exciting new small molecule inhibitor, CADD522, and how it impacts mitochondrial ATP production, oxidative phosphorylation, and cancer metabolism. In panel A, the mitochondrion is the powerhouse of the cell, where oxidative phosphorylation, OXFOS, generates ATP via ATP synthase, utilizing the electron transport chain, etc. Oxygen consumption rate, OCR, reflects mitochondrial activity, and reactive oxygen species, ROS, are byproducts of this process. Glucose metabolism, pyruvate enters the TCA cycle via pyruvate dehydrogenase, PDH, fueling the etc. within ADH and succinate. Etc. and ATP synthase, electrons travel through complexes 1 to 4, creating a proton gradient that drives ATP synthase, converting ADP to ATP. CADD522 inhibition, this compound inhibits ATP synthase, reducing ATP production, decreasing OCR, and elevating ROS. This metabolic disruption is significant in cancer biology as ATP synthase is essential for stem cell maintenance, drug resistance, and metastasis. Panel B shows CADD522, a novel compound designed using computer-assisted drug design, CADD, which combines a norbornene carboxylic acid core, commonly found in plant-derived compounds, with a dichlorophenyl carbamyl moiety. Why is this important? Nature-derived scaffolds often exhibit strong biological activity. Fusion of these structures enhances specificity and effectiveness. CADD522 was identified as a RUNX2 inhibitor, a key transcription factor involved in cancer progression. However, our research uncovered another crucial function. It inhibits ATP synthase, linking it to metabolic disruption in cancer cells. Panel C illustrates ATP synthase structure and the inhibitory binding sites of various drugs. CADD522 interacts with the F1 domain of ATP synthase, similar to other inhibitors like oligomycin. This interaction disrupts ATP synthesis and increases oxidative stress, ultimately affecting cancer cell viability. In panel A, the ribbon structure of VRK2, PDB, 4GT3 highlights key functional domains, including the D-domain recruitment site, doctors, in blue-green and the F-recruitment site, FRS, in brown, which are essential for substrate binding and regulatory interactions. The ATP binding site, yellow, contains a conserved lysine, critical for catalytic activity, while the activation loop, red, harbors the TXY motif necessary for phosphorylation and ERK activation. Unlike ATP-competitive inhibitors that completely block kinase function, SF3-030 selectively targets substrate docking interactions, preserving partial kinase activity and reducing off-target effects. In panel B, the molecular surface model of ERK2 displays all cysteine residues, green, with C252, red font, identified as the primary modification site, 90%, via high-resolution LCMS SF3-030 forms a covalent bond with C252, located adjacent to the F recruitment site, red, and TXY motif, magenta, disrupting protein-protein interactions required for oncogenic ERK2 signaling. The adjacent SF3-030 chemical structure reveals a sulfonyl-based reactive group enabling selective cysteine modification. This mechanism effectively blocks ERK-driven pathways in cancer cells without fully inhibiting kinase function, making SF3-030 a promising function-selective inhibitor. Unlike broad-spectrum kinase inhibitors, this approach reduces toxicity, improves selectivity, and minimizes drug resistance, particularly in melanoma and lung cancers. By selectively inhibiting F-site interactions, SF3-030 impairs oncogenic signaling while allowing normal ERK function, paving the way for safer and more effective cancer therapies. 
Future studies will focus on combination therapies with BRAF and MEK inhibitors to enhance treatment efficacy and overcome resistance mechanisms in MAPK-driven cancers.